Hi, and welcome back to Stop Being Sold. My name is Michelle, and I'm here with Brian. And in today's video, we're discussing a popular question people ask during down markets, and that is, should I stop funding my 401k while the market continues to fall? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I can't tell you, Michelle, how many times I get asked this question during down or extremely volatile markets like we're in today, right? right. Um, you know, I understand investors are nervous and afraid of losing money. And I don't want what I'm about to say to seem insensitive, but my answer is always the same. Why would you stop funding your 401k? when the market is down, you know, first of all, if you're receiving the company match and putting in up to that match, let's say it's 3% of your pay, right? Right. You're still receiving hundred percent return on your money, no matter what the market is doing. Okay? okay. The market may be volatile. It may be still fading, but you're adding to your long-term balance of your retirement. So, and this don't even include, the compounding effect of your money invested sure. over time. Sure. And you've also pointed out in other videos we've done on 401ks that when markets or just down markets, volatile markets, that when markets are down or, you know, trending down, the perfect time is to pick up more, you know, more shares, more stocks because they're on sale, so to speak. They're on sale. For sale. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a matter of shifting your mindset about mm. the current situation. And, but let's go back to this. It's often easier said than done. And I get that. Trust me, 25 plus years in this business, uh, working with consumers all across the United States. I know it's about the fear of what's going on. Um, one, you know, one quick way to help you shift how you think about the down market and your 401k is to look back at history. OK, mm -hmm. just think about this. If you had stopped contributing or sold, even sold out during 08, 09, remember, remember how 08, 09 was, right? I do. <laughs> <laughs> at, at the bottom of the financial crisis, Michelle, of 08, 09, the S&P 500 was 683 points. Okay. Today, it's around 3,700. Oh, boy. That's over five times yeah. off the lows of 08, 09. I, I was 41 then. And now I'm 53. By not selling in 08, 09, I was able to continue to grow my accounts for that time frame. So if you had stopped contributing during the 2008 crisis, you would have missed a huge rally off these lows. And that didn't even include your employer matched. So now yeah. we're in that same situation. Uh, 2020, if you stopped contributing or even sold during the spring of 2020. Now that was two and a half years ago, right? Right. March of 2020, the S&P 500 fell to 2,304 points. Today, we're around 3,700. We're up nearly 60% off the lows of 2020. And I could name several other times in history where this has happened, but I, I think you get my point. Yeah. And you know, while the past doesn't always dictate a future performance, one cannot deny right. that what goes up has to come back down and what comes down goes back up. That's just how nature actually works, yeah. right? There's a cycle for everything. It and, is. Yeah. You know, exactly. History has shown over and over that the market continues to rise. We're going to have pullbacks. We're going to have corrections. And that's healthy to continue to grow into a stronger long-term market. So. All right. Well, I want to go back real quick to the comment you made about the importance of shifting your mindset. I think that's the, this is the key here, uh, you know, shifting your mindset during a down market. I think another thing to help keep people's nerves in check and keep a cool head, so to speak, is to think big picture, which, which has to do with mindset, right? If you shift your it mindset is. from, from yeah. short term to the bigger picture, it, it, it changes everything. What's that they say when in doubt, zoom out, zoom out. right? And so in a bear market, the worst thing you can do is have that short term, the blinders on, right? Thinking. And that's what gets, it's gotten me in a ton of trouble. I know it gets other investors in trouble and sure. thinking too short term and you make rash, rash decisions and based on a news story or a news item and the panic ensues and then the sky's falling. And then next thing you know, you're like, oh, I should not have done that. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> is so that's true. That's how it works. <laughs>
<laughs> you know, one of the best things you can do when you, when you watch the market news is mm -hmm. to step back and remind yourself that fear sells. Yes, it okay? does. The news outlets want you to panic in so you can keep watching. Also, look at your goals. Remind yourself your 401k is a long-term game and take a time out before you make a move. Sure. And here's the deal. If you feel truly concerned about the stock market itself, at least continue to contribute up to the company match. Okay. Uh -huh. Then have these in funds invested in whatever may be just a cash position in your 401k. If you don't know what options you have, call either HR department or the investment company who manages your 401k. Okay. So at least get that company match. Yeah. That's get the company right match. Right now. And let's sit in cash if that's, if you're that concerned about the market, don't miss out on the match. It's free money. All right. So before I get to my last question, if you're watching this video and you like the content, hit that like button, press it right now, help us grow this channel and don't forget to subscribe. So you're going to miss another video from us. Right. Also, we're going to put one of our top videos in the link below. It's called, is your 401k losing money? Now what? Go check it out. I don't know how many thousands of people have watched it. It's definitely great, great one video. to check out if you're nervous right now, which yep. a lot of people are. And a lot right of good comments on that video. Absolutely. All right, Brian. So here's my last question. Um, does this advice apply to people who are nearing retirement in the next year or two, or is it for younger investors? Um, no, it, it does apply to those nearing retirement. Okay. And, and here's why. You actually get to accelerate your contributions since you're over the age of 50. This means you're buying even more stocks that are on sale right now. Got it. Okay. There you have it. That's it. All right. Do not forget to go check out that video. It's in the link below. It's, is your 401k losing money? Now what? And please leave us comments. Let us know what you think. What's going on in your mind? Do you like the information? And also don't forget to subscribe. And like if you do. All right, Brian, okay. thanks for another great uh, video. And thanks to everybody who watched. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Michelle. Have a great day. Until next time. Bye.